What's going on guys, ZTA Prime back here again. Today I'm gonna to show you how to easily run Android on your Windows desktop or laptop. We're gonna be using Bluestacks 4 to do this. Now I've been using Bluestacks for a couple years now. It's a very powerful Android emulator for x86. Really easy to install and their new version 4 has just been released a couple days ago. So I figured I'd do a walkthrough on it. They claim six times faster than the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Now this does depend on the hardware you're running it on, but most PCs will be able to beat this out. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install it and set it up. I'm going to run through some benchmarks in Android, play a few games, and then talk a little bit about the emulator itself. With all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So it's really easy to do. We're just going to go ahead and download Bluestacks here. Link for this will be in the description. We're going to download. It's about 400 megabytes. Now I already have mine downloaded and I've placed it on my desktop. Just double click on the installer and we're gonna install now. One of the main reasons I use Bluestacks is to easily get access to Android games that aren't on the iOS store. My main phone is an iPhone. I love it because it works, but I would also like to use a high-end Android phone and I don't wanna buy one. I do have some lower end stuff that works fine, but Bluestacks is like having a Galaxy S14. Click complete. It's going to boot up for us. I'm going to maximize the window. When it's finished starting up, you're going to be prompted with this screen, just like you're activating a brand new Android phone. Click let's go. And from here, you're just going to put in your Google information. Now for Bluestacks, I do use a separate Google account. I don't use my main Gmail for this, but you can if you want. If you've purchased anything in the Google Play Store, it will show up in Bluestacks and you can download it. You're just going to put in your email. It's going to prompt you for your password and it'll sign you into the Google Play Store. And there we have it. We're now inside of Bluestacks. Before we go any further, there are some settings I want to go over with you. Up in the top right hand corner here, we have a settings icon. We're going to go to settings. Display. We can change the resolution. Now I'm at system default, which will be 1920 by 1080. You can experiment with this if you'd like. DPI. I have mine set to high. If you have a lower end machine, you might want to think about going to 720p and you could also set it to low DPI. It may increase performance. Engine. I stick with OpenGL, but you can try DirectX if you're lagging with OpenGL or something like that. Use advanced graphics engine mode. This is in beta. I've never really messed around with it. You can experiment if you'd like. CPU cores. Now I have a pretty decent CPU here. Eight cores. I'm going to go with six here. Memory, four blue stacks. Mine's preset to 2.4 gigabytes, but I'm going to jack it up to four. So now I have six cores, four gigabytes of RAM. If I click restart now, it's going to restart blue stacks, not my PC, and these settings will be enabled. I'm going to click restart now. All right, so all of those settings I just changed are now enabled. I have six cores with four gigs of RAM. It's time to install some applications. We're just going to go down here to Google Play. It's going to launch it for us. When we have an app open, we also have the option to go total full screen. And if you want to toggle it back off, go to the very top here and you can toggle back to window. I'm going to go full screen and now it's time to install some apps. Like I mentioned, I do want to run a few benchmarks here to show you how it performs on my system. I'm going to go ahead and install those, and I'm also going to go ahead and install some games and show you those running. Okay, so I've downloaded a few things as you can see here. Like I mentioned, I do want to run some benchmarks, so I'm going to do that real quick. First up is going to be Geekbench 4. I'm not going to bore you letting you sit through the whole benchmark, so I'm just going to start it, skip to the end. Okay, for the single core, we scored 4,551, and for multi-core, 12,376. The Galaxy S9, from the scores I've seen, single core, 3,281, multi-core, 8,520. So we did score a bit higher than the Galaxy S9. Now this is just the CPU benchmark scores. We're gonna head back to the home page, to our desktop, and we're gonna try Antutu. This is just an all-around benchmark. Pretty much tests everything for Android. All right, for Intuitu, we scored an 872,949. This is ridiculous, the score here. 
So the top charts right now on Antutu's website is the Mi Black Shark, the gaming phone, 289,415. Galaxy S9 Plus, 263,000. So yeah, our benchmark is way up there. And if we check out this GPU score, it is ridiculous. I also tried running a 3D mark, but it just maxed it out. There's no number that it's going to give me. It just says max. So we're done with benchmarks right now. It definitely outperforms any Android phone on the market. Now it's time to get into some gameplay, because this is where Bluestacks really shines. I absolutely hate touch controls. Luckily, we can program a keyboard to work with pretty much any game in Android. And a lot of the times, the keyboard's already set up for it. I'll give you an example. Marvel Strike Force. We're just going to start it up. As soon as we start, it tells us here, Game Controls. Auto Fight will be Q, Change Speed, W, Open Settings, F1, Skill 1 is set to 1, Skill 2 is set to 2. You can rearrange these if you'd like to. Now if you look on screen very closely right here, there's a little 1 button. If we go to this keyboard icon, click Edit. Advanced settings, we can set up a tap spot, a d-pad, zoom, aim, swipe, pretty much anything you need in a mobile game can be set to the keyboard or mouse. I'm just going to go ahead and exit out of here because it's already set up for me. And I'm going to start this game. Go full screen with it. So my two's already over that, I can click two, it's gonna go. So I wanna use skill one, I'm just gonna press one on my keyboard. It's gonna use the skill for me. I got skill two. So you don't have to use your mouse as kind of like your finger, but you could if you wanted to. I got my mouse scrolling here. I'm just going to click continue. Some people like having it set up for the keyboard. Some people like using the mouse. I'm just going to open this crate here. Cool. Luke Cage. Awesome. We'll do one more fight. Then we'll move on to another game. So from here, I'm just going to play with my mouse. Want to heal everybody up real quick. Didn't really need to do that, but that's okay. Get some muscle in here. And that's it. There are hundreds of games that are compatible with Bluestacks. I'm going to exit this game. I'm going to have to do it. PUBG Mobile. Personally, I don't play PUBG, but I know a lot of people want to. You don't have to spend the money on Steam. You can play the mobile version for free with Bluestacks here. All the controls are already set up for you as soon as you start the game. Read through here, it's going to tell you exactly what does what, and even on screen. So as you can see on screen, we have a couple little dots here. WASD, this will be our move keys. Now this is already pre-set up in Bluestack. You don't have to do any configuration unless you want to change something around. You can also make all of these transparent if you don't want to see them on screen. But I prefer having them on because I don't know what does what with this emulator just yet. If you want to take them off, 
or just make them invisible. Click on the little eye here. Make them invisible. I don't know what else I need to do here. Gotta find a gun now. Well, I just lighted some. Uh, you know how you, you do you have any idea how hard it is to be on this? No, it's, it's, I don't find it that hard. On computer? You're playing on computer? But as you can see, you'll have no trouble playing PUBG with blue stacks. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you get Bluestack set up on your PC. There are thousands and thousands of games compatible with Bluestacks. A lot of them are already pre-set up. And if they're not, you can always configure the controls the way you like them very easily. If you're interested in trying this out, I'm going to leave a link to the download page in the description. Like always, thanks for watching.